We are officially on our second section. We always start with the recent movie trailers. And I guess because we've had two weeks worth of stuff, we've been talking for an hour and 45 minutes over it. But now, it's time for an official review. When a new movie comes out, I will probably watch it. Usually. I have time to watch a two-hour movie. Just not time to watch a 45-minute TV show, apparently. And with it, there was a new movie that came out in the last two weeks. And I have some thoughts. Not many. It's not crazy. Um, but even still, I'm just gonna rant at you for a bit. You're welcome to uh, go back and forth a little bit on it. And uh, tell me your thoughts. Because what we're discussing today... Let's see if I can get a right screenshot of it. Apparently, this is the first thing it shows. The Devil. We're watching, or not watching, I can't show you the footage. I can show you shuffled footage of the trailer. We are talking about Cruella, because I watched this recently. We have, I've been, this is the second review we've ever done, just live. The way it's going to work is I've got all the footage of all the trailers shuffled in any what random direction. That, that was the same clip twice with two different uh, editings with the color palette. That's interesting to know as a little side piece. But let's talk about Cruella for a bit. For once, I actually have also notes on the whole thing, which is nice. Cruella, have you guys seen it? This is, of course, the latest live-action Disney movie of this generation for three whole minutes. I didn't enjoy it. Surprise, surprise. We will be going over spoilers, by the way, in this review, so do be aware. If you're not interested, mute me for a whole five minutes. We'll be, we'll be done in a little bit. There's not much to say about it. It is the most classic, basic, most unpassionate Disney live-action movie there could be, you know? I'm sure, acting, phenomenal, you know? Uh, Emma Stone and Emma Thompson and artifacting weird little shoe feet. They did the best performance they possibly could. I could see that they tried. It was really good. Their acting, phenomenal. That's what they're hired to do. Given a bit of a crappy script, they'll do the best they can. The absolute highest part of this, like the best part was, of course, the acting. That's not a surprise. What brought it down is absolutely everything else. The story, is lackluster. But yeah, this is the most unpassionate thing. It, it goes through all the standard bits. I really disliked it, so I watched it in two sections. I watched the first 40 minutes and then stopped because I had to, things were going on. I thought it was a terrible movie at that point because it took 40 minutes for the main conflict between Emma Stone and Emma Thompson to begin. Before that point, absolute dog of a movie. Just terrible. Like, oh. I really hated so many aspects of it. They were, they CGI'd the dogs in this movie. A movie that's about the, the motif and theming and opinions and angerings and antagonizing of dogs. CGI'd them. And I get why. Because they can act better if they're not real. But also it felt like they were reusing animation. It felt really off and it really took me out of the moment. Ugh. Not a fan. Similarly to that, on the actual story basis... It doesn't explain Cruella very well. It doesn't explain how she hops from the end of the movie where she owns dogs and enjoys their company and makes friends with three of the Dalmatians. There's the three Dalmatians to then wanting to skin like 101 of them 80 years later. You know, it doesn't make sense. They try and protagonize Cruella. I see what they're going for. It's a fun story. It's not good, though. It didn't need to be there. It didn't need to do what it needed to do, you know? Disney haven't used real animals in years. They CG everything nowadays. Yes, and you can still notice. It takes you out the moment, and that sucks. Um, but it did get much better when the conflict had started. Another thing I did notice that was really annoying. We might have to loop through this footage a couple times. Excuse me. Well, just one more time. Loved him in that, by the way. That guy we just saw. Mwah. Love him. Favorite actor. Um, this film also, in its very unpassionate ways overloads itself with mainstream music and the only connection really is just like the lyrics connect to a faint moment and opinion in the moment it's all mainstream from all through the years it's not even 60s centric i believe it's just there to be like uh we have content look listen out isn't this fun it's not good or creative or new i am the kind of guy that hates when there is mainstream music in a thing to make a film dated and i did hear a good counterpoint by sinowin saying Dated music is fine because the film is dated itself because it was made at the same time as the music track in some cases. Not in this. It was just shuffled good pop music or mainstream. Sometimes it was rock from like the Beatles or something. But it, it didn't make the quality of the story any better. Really didn't like that. Um, 
going to just finale points, the finale, the final twist of like the the final victory Cruella gets is framing, not framing, baiting Emma Thompson to murder her or attempt to murder her, and everyone witnesses. Except there's no reveal that everyone witnessed it because you see the whole time behind Emma Thompson with everyone crowding around. So you know that everyone's going to witness it. And so there's no like, whoa, they got her. You just know how, you see the whole plan in action and then it just rolls out, you know? So uh, like it's it just really disappointing on that front as well. It, like the final bit didn't feel great. Also, her mum die her her mum dies in the prologue by getting pushed off a cliff, and she gets pushed at the end. Cruella gets pushed off the same cliff and lives because story. Sure, she has like a minion at a boat on the river down there, but how does she not hit a single rock when falling off those cliffs? You can't. What kind of supernatural human dive did she do to get all the way over there? That wasn't a dab. Don't quote me on that. Don't screenshot it. Don't grab. Um, that really sucked. Also, her minions. Not very good characters. Because she treats them terribly. They comment on how she treats them terribly. And then they never leave. I know it's a bit of a cliche that when it all goes down, they try and abandon her and they she coaxes them back. That doesn't really happen. They only get dis dis detached when she almost dies and they think she's dead and they, he, they get put in prison. And then the moment they get out, they're like, hey, you want to hang out a bit more? And she's like, yep. And then off they go, you know? the Yeah, the retconning of Dalmatians killed my mother as well in the prologue. Really stupid. Re that's a parody thing to do. Someone made a parody tweet and then it became real. This version of Cruella likes dogs. Kind of weird considering she wants to skin them 50 years later, but I kind of mentioned that earlier. Oh, yes. When we got to watching it, there was also a point where we thought it was ending way sooner than it was, where she discovers that the bad, the big bad boss is actually her real biological mother. And the mother from the prologue was just a servant who uh, adopted her when she was trying to be aborted and all this. And then she goes back to the fountain and monologues. And I was like, is that the ending? Thankfully it wasn't and it continued with getting more revenge and taking over the business and getting kicked off a cliff and surviving. But man, it's not that it was a mess of a film, but it was completely unneeded and unpassionate and just bad, you know? Like, it, like nothing makes it stand out. It's not a classic. It's not good. It was cool when they did certain moments, like she makes a dress out of um, butterflies, like when they're all in their little, little corpses. I don't know what they're called. Coffins, caucuses, when they're all metapod. That was cool, because then it's like, wow, that's a cool sequin dress. And then it all becomes moths, not not butterflies. Um, very lucky that none of the moths opened up sooner, but there you go. That was the best, excuse me, bit of the movie. There wasn't really much more to it than that, though, you know? So, there you are. Cruella, not very good. Did not enjoy. Enjoyed the acting. Look, there's the moths bit. Wow. I could probably have pieced this together. I really, really watched it, but maybe not. I don't know. There you are. I, you know, I wish Emma Thompson and Emma Stone all the best, but the movie, about as forgettable as all the rest, really. So, there you are.